Hello, Asif from my side, and many thanks to Mr. Indrashid and Sumita and also the boys of the world for inviting us to this very nice place. As the most of you might know, it's, my name is Armin and I am the husband from Michael Sumina or Christian Steigenberger. And um, 
I'm not really uh, a Wikipedian. I did, I did about, I think, 400 edits and just one article. And um, but most of the work on Wikipedia is what Kirsten does have. Um, I'm also a poet, and I'm, I'm, I would say I'm a poet since 2001, because I decided, I, this was the point I decided not to make architecture, um, because I studied architecture before, and I worked six years as an architect, then I had a second training as a Microsoft Certified System Engineer, and I quit this also to have the time to make my poems and my texts. So, this is enough to me. Do you have some more? Uh, all I want to add that I'm very glad that Armin supports me and my work for Wikimedia. He's not always working so much on Wikipedia himself, like me. but without him I couldn't do it. Yes, like go to Shumita also. <laughs> so, to start the program, I think you all know that Wikipedia, Wikimedia has a big idea, a big wish. It is an organization, it is a movement. I'm not even sure what it is, because it is a bit of everything. Um, it is unique in the world. Such a thing would not have been possible before 2000, I think, before the internet existed. It was not possible to imagine that things could be organized in a way that everyone can access the same knowledge. The idea to build an encyclopedia that is not written by experts, but written by people all around the world, is something that can only be thought on the background of the existing technical structure, the internet. But while in the beginning of the internet, a lot of people had such ideas. They thought the internet would help connect the world. Very soon the internet was taken over more or less by the big companies. Facebook makes lots and lots of money on advertising. They also connect people around the world. But their idea is not mainly to connect. Their main drive, their main idea is to make money off people. Like a lot of other companies, they're still in the world. They're still helping in a lot of ways, but their drive, their ambition is to be to good customer service. While the idea of the encyclopedia is another one. The idea is to imagine a world and to create this world in which every single human being can freely share the sum of all knowledge. And if you're talking about every single human being, I think the first time Jimmy Wales, the founder of the Wikipedia said this, he did not think of girls like the ones who served us. He did not imagine that a girl from Voice of the World and all particular have one day to try and read or edit. But Wikipedia has grown. It started with a small encyclopedia. It started with a couple of pages in English. Very soon, German language joined. Manga was also quite early to join. It was a few languages, but English was growing very fast. German was growing very fast. And not all the, the background was thought for those languages. But then, suddenly, people participated. As I said, from Bangladesh, from West Bengal, a strong community participated. From other places, all around the world, people read this and said, yes, that means me. And in the beginning, it was often only the elite of other countries. Also in Germany, in the beginning, it was teachers, it was students, 
it was those people that had good access that we want them to libraries, to books, but also, of course, to the technical things. Not everybody had internet in 2002, by far not, even in Germany. But it started more and more to be all the idea that really everybody had to be And with this, this vision really got more and more power. But with this vision, we have a very high idea and a very good. We also want to give good customer service. We want to write articles that are true, that bring the facts, that give extensive knowledge. That is good customer service. We want to cover as many subjects as possible. And especially in the last years, it became a focus to cover them in the mother tongue of the people who write. A lot of people have started writing in English to work. Actually, English is the second language. I think all of us knew English is the second language. Yes. So, writing in your own mother tongue and getting the knowledge out to those people who do not speak English. Because in every country, there's also four people who do not speak English, has become a goal. On the way, however, the real life, this, the idea, the vision in the beginning was that just anyone can consider. But in the beginning it wasn't so difficult because anyone was limited. Anyone was limited, as I said, to students, teachers, people who already had a good background. But the more we open up, the more different something was and the more different people take part. That was already a little bit. Started in the beginning, the more often there's conflict. Because the way we see the world is shaped by what we experience. My experience of the world already is different from Alfie's experience of the world. We live now together in one apartment, we are married, we have a lot of the same things, but still, he's a man. His experience in the world is a different experience than mine as a woman. I travel, I do a lot more for Wikipedia and I'm working for that. He sometimes comes along, but not all the time. So we have different experiences. But the experience of someone living here, for example, in this institute, the voice of the world, is so much more different. So when you try to talk about the same thing and you have a very different background, this can easily lead to misunderstandings. And misunderstandings can lead to conflicts. Sometimes it's not just misunderstandings. Sometimes it is more. The Wikipedia has this wonderful idea that we can solve all conflicts because we all strive for this idea. We have the rule, assume the faith. Think about the other one as someone who's also working towards this goal with good intention. Unfortunately, this is not always true. And the biggest conflicts arise is usually when one person thinks the other one has no good intention. Mm -hmm. For the customer, the articles, the pictures, it's not just Wikipedia, it's also the other Wikimedia projects, Wikisource, Wikidata, Commons. There is the side that is there for the customer, the content, that which anyone can see. Wikipedia also has a very large technical side, coding, templates, people are running bots, people have to keep the interface clean and tidy. There are security things also there. Accounts have to be safe from high checking. Accounts have to be safe so that nobody can just steal your account and do something, especially the accounts of you know, people like administrators, check users, all these things. So this is one side, the technical side. But the side we are talking about is the community side, the people. It's always, we generally say, it's a strong intelligence. I'm not even sure if that word is used like this 
in English, but it's like if everybody knows a little bit, we all know a lot more. And if there's a swarm of fishes, I don't know if you've ever seen this, how a swarm of fishes decides to take a different direction. There are interesting videos. You can see how one fish goes to the side, the others don't follow, it goes back. Two fish go to the side, the others don't follow, they go back to the main direction. But suddenly five, six, eight, ten fishes go to the side, more and more will follow and the swarm will change direction. So with the key as a bit working like this, often people try something, someone doesn't follow, they go back. With notability criteria, for example. Somebody says, this should be notable. Others say, no, 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 okay. But then perhaps a few months later, somebody else brings it up, people start discussing again. So this is the school. This seems all very natural, but often it's not. Often the fish doesn't just go back. Often the fish will push back, pull back. The other fishes will say, don't go there. And this is also where fights happen. So the most important in this life, we all think about the other one is doing it because he or she wants to follow this vision. We will find a way to solve the conflict. Once we assume there's somebody who just wants to make money on the game, and it happens. Or we assume there is somebody who wants to make himself important on the game, to do things for his or her own good. That's when the worst conflicts arise. Okay. कल्पना कर समस्त ज्ञान छात्र शिक्षक एरा तो जो कम लोक जेको एक कारण क्या करें तक समस्या अत ना तक मोटामुटी भाव चल रही धीरे धीरे ये उइकिपिडिया सारा विश्व विभिन्न भाषा छड़ाते शुरू कर धीरे धीरे हमारे बांगला उइकिपिडिया तैरि है बांगलेश तैयारी भारतवर्षे विभिन्न लैंगुएज सारा विश्व जो लैंगुएजे समस्त उइकिपिडियन सदस्य मैं भलेंटियर जरा ता अंश ग्रहण करते शुरू कर और आप जानी जख ही एक अनेक बड़ो अंश समाज लोक एक साथ क्ज करते थकबें जेहेतु ते सामाजिक अर्थनैतिक विभिन्न बैकग्राउंड आलदा आलदा पढ़ाशुना आलदा निजस्व उत्साहता आलदा बड़ हवार चिंताधारा मन जो अभिव्यक्ति प्रकाशन अभिव्यक्ति समस्त किस आलदा आलदा से ही समस्त मानुषुलो जो एक जगह आसे तक उद्देश्य क्योंकि सत्व धीरे धीरे विभिन्न रकम मतबिरोध होते क्षेत्र में कम्यूनिटी हेल्थ मानी सबाई मिले एक समस्याटाई <laughs> Can make shorter parts. Don't about for translating. So now I have a bit of a problem picking up my thoughts again. <laughs> um, but I think I was saying that um, we need the community and to assume good faith to make a good encyclopedia. It has proven that nobody can compete. Of normal people, everyone adding their own piece of knowledge. 
can, nobody can compete with this. Experts cannot write an encyclopedia as well as we, all of us, together. বলছেন যে বিভিন্ন বিষয়ে যারা বিশেষজ্ঞ রয়েছেন তারা একা তাদের পক্ষে সম্ভব নয় একটি মানে এনসাইক্লোপিডিয়াতে বানানো কিন্তু আমরা এই যে ভলেন্টিয়ার সবাই রয়েছে স্বেচ্ছাসেবক তারা যদি সবাই একত্রে মিলিতভাবে কাজ করি তবেই মাত্র সম্ভব হয় যে ভিত্তিপিঠের মতো এনসাইক্লোপিডিয়াকে লিখতে হবে Conflict is absolutely normal. It is not bad. Conflict is not something where you should, should be afraid of. It belongs to this process of getting the knowledge of everyone together. For example, if I'm holding this up, you will clearly see it says voice of the world. But I, on the other hand, will see, oh, Voice of the World is only written in very small print farther down. So if I don't see the other side, if I don't know it, and you say, this for sure has Voice of the World written in very large letters, I will say, no, that's not true. That's written down there in very small letters. We can't have a big fight until we discover, oh, the sides are different. Sometimes it's necessary to have this fight. It's not always as obvious that things have two sides. So sometimes we have to start fighting and say, no, 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 it's written in very big print. No, it's written in very small print. And then we discover both is true. So conflict is a normal part of finding the whole truth, all the facts. Because everyone has just part of the facts, We have to bring them together, and this happens through conflict. And mostly, conflict is solved well on the people. There's lots of discussion pages, talk pages of articles where conflicts like this are resolved well. I remember a, bi a biography where somebody had written, the date of birth is such and such. I have sources. Someone else gave a different date of birth and said, oh no, but I have also sources. And so they started talking on the discussion page and they found out that at one time this got mistakenly, the numbers got changed around and this is how it happened. So they could clear it up, they found which is the older source, which is the true source. This was conflict and it was resolved well. This is the normal way how it happens mostly on Wikipedia. Wikipedia did the Vindu Jagatik volunteer as a to edit calling. So far, this is only another version of only an example. This is J. Q. Shamil Pataka Dixit, this is Hamid Bushes, because it's a chair at Dicky Bosha and at Dicky Bosha, this is only top of it. She was a very attentive to voice of only one of the four of the classes in Pitch. তিনি বলছেন হ্যাঁ লেখা আছে কিন্তু অনেক ছোট তো দুজনে অনেকক্ষণ ধরে হয়তো তর্ক বিতর্ক করে কিন্তু আমাদের যদি একটা গ্লোবাল ভিউ থাকে মানে আমি সার্বিক দৃষ্টিতে একটা হাতি দেখছি হাতির ল্যাব থেকে আমি বললাম হাতিটা ল্যাবের মতন কেউ বলবে কানের মতন কিন্তু যতক্ষণ না সার্বিক দৃষ্টিতে যাচ্ছি আমরা আলোচনার মাধ্যমে ওগুলো ঠিক করতে পারি যেমন উনি এক্সাম্পল দিয়েছেন ইংলিশ উইকিপিডিয়াতে যখন এডিটিং হয়েছে একটা সাইটেশন মতো অনেক পুরোনো রয়েছে কেউ হয়তো বলছে যে না এই সাইটেশন ঠিক নেই বা অনেক সময় ডেডলিং হয় এরকম জিনিস হয় তো কীভাবে আলোচনার মাধ্যমে ওগুলো রিজার্ভ করতে হয় সমস্ত মানুষকেই আমাদের দরকার প্রত্যেকেরই দৃষ্টিভঙ্গি হয়তো তার নিজের জায়গা থেকে ঠিক কিন্তু যখন সার্বিক দিকে যাব এবং সুস্থ একটা এনভায়রনমেন্ট হবে তখন সেটা হয় Sometimes people don't make it themselves the solution, they call someone else in, they call administrators to make a rule and say what is wrong and what is right, but usually it gets resolved well. If this does not happen, sometimes this is due because there is a difference in power between the people talking. We all know in the normal world there is a difference of power. And we realize that not everything is fair. A conflict between a teacher and a student, the student probably will lose. In very rare cases, the student will win this conflict. Also, women often have less power.
power in the real world. If a man says something and the woman tries to argue, there is a chance the man will win. It's not always. Also women can win conflicts in the real world, but there's a slight difference. And all those differences of power also translate on Wikipedia, even if they should not. Because it's not about power. It's not about who is more respected, who is more important. As I said in the beginning, a small girl can have knowledge that is important, that I don't have, that army doesn't have, that all of you don't have. And if she knows indeed something, it should be up there because it's the sum of all knowledge. It's not just my knowledge, your knowledge, Sumita's knowledge, it's all knowledge. So even a girl from working in the paddy fields um, in a small border village should be able to put it in. And if she's right, she should win the argument. She should be the one to put the knowledge into the argument. দেখি যে সমাজের ক্ষেত্র এবং উইকিপিডিয়ার ক্ষেত্র যে যখন যারা এডিটিং করছেন সবাই একই লেভেলে নেই মানে এমনিতে হয়তো একই লেভেলে কিন্তু ক্ষমতার হয়তো তফাত আসতে পারে কেউ অ্যাডমিন রইলেন কেউ সামান্য ভলেন্টিয়ার যেমন সামাজিক ক্ষেত্রে হয় ছাত্র এবং শিক্ষকের সম্পর্ক তো বেশিরভাগ থেকেই দেখা যায় যে তথাগতিতভাবে একটু পাওয়ারফুল সেই সব সময় তর্ক বিতর্কটা জেতে যেমন ধরুন আমাদের এই উইকিপিডিয়াতেও মেয়েরাও এডিট করছে সেক্ষেত্রে মেয়েরাও একটু কম কম অনেক সময় মাথার মধ্যে ধারণা আসে যে আচ্ছা এটা মেয়ের এডিট কিন্তু উনি বলছেন সেভাবে অচিত নয় যদি দেখা যাচ্ছে এখানে প্রত্যেকজন ভলেন্টিয়ারের থেকে একজন চাষ করছে যে প্যাটি ফিটে যে রয়েছে ধান খেতে যে রয়েছে তার নলেজটা হয়তো ঠিক আছে সবসময় হওয়া উচিত যে যার বক্তব্য সত্যি সে যেখান থেকে আসুক যে রকম অর্থনৈতিক সামাজিক অবস্থায় আসুক তার তাই ঠিক সেটা কখনো কখনো উইকিপিডিয়ার ক্ষেত্রে কি হয় অ্যাডমিনিস্ট্রেটর দুজন ভলেন্টিয়ারের মাধ্যমে হয়তো ইনভলভ হয়ে সেটা করে বা কখনো আরও বেশি কারোর ইনভলভমেন্ট হওয়ার দরকার হয় কিন্তু পাওয়ারটা অনেক সময় একটা কিছু বাধার সৃষ্টি করে যেটা হওয়া উচিত Because Wikipedia was started by the people who had easy access to internet and easy access to library and books, it was started with a lot of powerful people. So there the difference in power is often much more bigger than in the real world. And we still have less women contributing and we have a lot less people contributing with other kind of challenges, with other kind of disadvantages in power people from minorities, for example, also people that are, um, no, I'm forgetting the words, um, from different genders, yes. um, they don't contribute as much, and if they do, they also get attacked much more easily. Also, inside the Wikipedia, there are power structures that have started to solidify, to be very strong. So we all need to, as I said, we all need to make, act together to make contributors safe. And we all have to add our own energy to protect people like this, who are from minorities, the women, the people of other genders. We really have to take good care of them, all of us. Our society has been a lot of different things. যেরকম জেন্ডার ওয়াইজ আমি কিছুদিন আগে পর্যন্ত জানতাম না এই জিবিটি ছাড়াও আরও কিউ আরও অনেক রকম তফাত রয়েছে এবং মাইনরিটি যখন রয়েছে অনেক সময় দেখা যায় যে আপার ক্লাস থেকে যদি একজন মাইনরিটি সম্বন্ধে দেখে তাহলে সেটা সিঁড়ির উপর থেকে নিচে নলেজ কিন্তু যাদের বিষয় বক্তব্য তাদের কে যদি সেই বিষয়ে যেরকম বলছেন প্যারিফিলস থেকে একজন এসে তো যে যারা তথাকথিত মাইনরিটি হয়ে যাচ্ছেন যেমন মেয়েরাও আমাদের বিকৃতিটা অনেক কম আমি শুনেছি নট নাইন পার্সেন্ট ন পার্সেন্ট মাত্র ন প্রতিশত একশোর মধ্যে নজন মাত্র নেই তো সেক্ষেত্রে যখনই কম সংখ্যক লোক হয়ে যাচ্ছে সেটা ডিসেবিলিটির ক্ষেত্রেও হতে পারে কেউ হয়তো ফুল ব্লাইন্ড করছে কেউ হয়তো যেহেতু ওনারা কম তাদের কি কি এডিটিংয়ে অসুবিধা হচ্ছে আমরা তাদেরকে ফিল করতে পারছি না কিন্তু যখনই কোনো ইভেন্ট হবে যখনই কোনো প্রোগ্রাম হবে আমাদের সবসময় দেখতে হবে যারা সংখ্যালঘিষ্ঠ তাদের যে কোনোভাবে সংখ্যালঘিষ্ঠ 
তারা যাতে পুরোপুরিভাবে আজকে এই যে ট্রান্সলেশনটা এটাও আমি ওনার কাছ থেকে শিখেছি আমি অন্য জায়গায় গিয়ে শিখেছি যে শুধু ইংরেজিতে বললে হতেই পারে সবাই বুঝতে পারছে না তো আমি যে ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজে যেখানে সেখানে সবাই যে কথা বলে যদি বাংলা হয় বাংলা হিন্দি হয় হিন্দি তো সেই ভাষাতে যদি তাহলে বলি তাহলে সে আলোচনাটার সঙ্গে অংশগ্রহণ করতে পারবে এবং সেও যখন বলবে তার কথাটা যদি কমন ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজে মানে ইংলিশে ট্রান্সলেট করা হয় তাহলে সেটা দুটোর উপর সমান সমান হবে না তো কি হবে আমি একটা অনুষ্ঠান করে চলে গেলাম কিন্তু আর্ধেক লোক বুঝতেই পারলো না যে কি বলা হলো এবং সেও তার বক্তব্য বলতে পারলো না টোটাল ইনক্লুশন এই শব্দটাকে বলা হয় সামাজিকভাবে যত ধরনের মানুষ আছেন প্রত্যন্ত গ্রামের মানুষ আছেন সবার বিভিন্ন রকম শিক্ষা লেভেল সবার বিভিন্ন রকম আর্থিক লেভেল সবার বিভিন্ন রকম নলেজ লেভেল এবং জেন্ডার সেক্স এবং এই অনুযায়ী বিভিন্নতা আছে সেই সমস্ত মানুষকে একসাথে নিয়ে সেই মাইনরিটিদের আমাদের রক্ষা করতে হবে এবং তারা যাতে উইকিপিডিয়ায় ভালো করে এডিট করতে পারেন সেই ব্যাপারে খেয়াল রাখতে হবে So we all have to try and be good allies and support those who have not all the chances that we have had to start as good Wikipedia editors. We all have learned, we all have made problems, mistakes in the beginning. But to really change things, we have to help those that are starting now and that have perhaps less chances to start and to make more mistakes. But not to say, oh, we don't belong here because we did something wrong, but to invite them and help them. For example, if somebody is visually challenged, they might make problems in the formatting of the article because they have the problem to see how the formatting works. So to go there and help them and assume this person wants to do it right and not to say, oh, you destroyed my formatting, get away from my article. This is very, very important. অসুবিধের কথা বলতে গিয়ে সম্পূর্ণ যিনি চোখে দেখতে পান না তাদের কথা বলেছে যে সে তো ফর্ম্যাটটা দেখতে পাচ্ছে না যে কি বিস্তারে আমরা রেখিপিডিয়া করছি তো ওরকম আরও অনেকজন হতে পারেন যিনি হয়তো এই পড়াশুনোর সঙ্গে অতটা আমরা যেরকম আমরা সবাই কিন্তু খুব প্রিভিলেজ মানে আমরা খুবই অনেক অধিকার পেয়েছি আমাদের জন্ম খুব ভালো জায়গায় হয়েছে আমরা পড়াশুনো পেয়েছি আমরা কিন্তু অনেকটা সুবিধাজনক পজিশনে রয়েছে যিনি অনেক আমাদের থেকে কম মানে সুবিধা পেয়েছেন তিনি যখন এডিট করতে আসছেন তার যে ধরনের সমস্যা আমি যেহেতু ভালো এডিট করতে পারছি ও আমার এটা বানিয়েছি আমার আর্টিকেলটা এই এসে একটু খোঁচা দিয়ে গেছে দেখতে হবে সে কোথা থেকে এসেছে তার কেন অসুবিধা হচ্ছে তাকে কম্পাসিনেটলি মানে সহানুভূতির সঙ্গে তার প্রবলেমটাকে সমস্যাকে সলভ করতে হবে আমাদের নাকি ও তুমি এডিট করেছো যাও দুবার রিভার্ট করে দিলাম সে বেরিয়ে চলে গেল সবাইকে আমাদের সাথে নিতে হবে তার জন্য যা যা করণীয় সেগুলোর জন্য ভাবতে হবে And to do this, what is most important is that we talk about the problems. That we talk at the one hand about the things that go wrong. That we are not afraid to admit, oh, I've been unfriendly. I've been a bit too harsh. And also if we experience harshness, that we are not afraid to speak up and to say, oh, I don't want to be treated that way. Please, let's find a better way to talk. Don't be treat me like this. You might be older, you might be a man, you might be a professor, you might be someone important. But respect me as a human being. Often we are afraid to say those sentences. We accept it. Oh, this is an important personage. This is perhaps also someone who has written 5,000 Wikipedia articles. And we think, oh, I can't speak up. But if, if nobody speaks up, things won't change. So it is important to speak up, either when I myself feel I'm not being treated fairly, but also if I see someone else not being treated fairly. When I was in the beginning, যে আপার হ্যান্ডে থাকেন তিনি হয়তো বুঝতে পারছেন না কিন্তু হয়তো তার ভাষাটা অনেকটা হার্স হয়ে গেল এবং সেটা দু তরফের দূরত্বটা বাঁচে থাকে একটা হচ্ছে যিনি ওপর দিকে রয়েছেন তিনি হাস করে মানে কঠোরভাবে কিছু তাকে বললে আর যে কম পাচ্ছে বা কম জানছে সে ভাবছে বাবা এ তো অনেক এডিট আছে অনেক সম্পাদনা করেছে আমি কি করে বলবো সে তখন চুপ থেকে যাচ্ছে তো সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমাদের কি করতে হবে শুধু আমাদের জন্য নিজের জন্য প্রতিবাদ করবো না যে মানুষটি কোনোভাবে এভাবে কষ্ট পাচ্ছে 
তার জন্য বলতে হবে যে আমরা এখানে সবাই সমান তো তাই জন্য আমাদের কোনো অধিকার নেই যে আর একজন মানুষকে এইভাবে পিছিয়ে দেওয়ার আমরা আমি ভুল করতে পারি কিন্তু আমাকে শুধরানোর সুযোগ দেওয়া হোক সে যদি বলতে না পারছে আমাদের সবাই মিলে তাকে সাপোর্ট দিতে হবে we have to talk often we talk when we talk about Wikipedia we talk about it. which articles did I write what sources do I use and this is an important part I found a new template to use a new easy way to do these things and the technical side but we have to talk more about us the contributors the foundation has for a long time also not realized and not done this. The foundation has talked only about the technical side. And the communities talked about the content. But we have learned and we are starting more and more to talk about community health. কিন্তু যারা লিখছে তাদের মানসিক অবস্থা বা তাদের যে অবস্থা থেকে করছেন সে বিষয়ে প্রথমে ফাউন্ডেশন অতটা নজর দিত না কিন্তু ধীরে ধীরে যখন তারা বুঝতে পারে তখন আস্তে আস্তে সেই দিকগুলোতে টেকনিক্যাল সাইড ছাড়াও যে দিকগুলো দেখলে আলটিমেটলি ইনডাইরেক্টলি লেখার ওপর জোর করবে সেদিকে নজর দিচ্ছে and that's now from the English Wikipedia, is a major field of study within the medical and clinical sciences, which focuses on the maintenance, protection, and improvement of the health status of population groups and communities. So it is something to study, it is something to do research, and it has to do with the improvement of the health status. Another definition from the World Health Organization is that community health is the environmental, social and economic resources to sustain emotional and physical well-being among people in ways that advance their aspirations and satisfy their needs in their unique environment. This is usually meant, of course, for communities that live together close the Wikimedia communities are different, unique. They don't live together, but it's still a thing that we have common aspirations and we have needs that are there because of the unique environment of the Wikimedia projects. The foundation is in the Shankata Roche, Sheti Holo, the community, the Tate. সংখ্যাগরিষ্ঠ সংখ্যক গ্রুপগুলি দলগুলি কাজ করছে তাদের স্বাস্থ্য সম্পর্কিত এবং তাদের হেলথ স্ট্যাটাসটাকে প্রোটেকশান দেওয়া এবং তাদের উন্ন সেটাকে উন্নত উন্নতি করা এবং সেটাকে রক্ষণাবেক্ষণ করা যাতে তার মানে কোন অ্যাসপেক্টে না মেডিকেল এবং ক্লিনিক্যাল বিজ্ঞান মানে আমি ওর বাংলাটা বুঝতে পারছি না একদমই তো সেইটার বিষয়ে বিস্তর একটি গবেষণামূলক কাজ আর ওয়ার্ল্ড হেলথ অর্গানাইজেশনের অনুযায়ী যে সংজ্ঞাটি আছে সেটি হল পরিবেশগত সামাজিক এবং আর্থিক উৎস একটি দলের যাদের মানসিক এবং শারীরিক সুস্থতাটাকে উন্নত করা যায় এবং যাতে তারা তাদের প্রয়োজন একটি যে আলাদা আলাদা পরিবেশ আছে সেখানে তারা তাদের নিজেদের যে ইচ্ছে রয়েছে সেই দিকে এগিয়ে যেতে পারে এবং তাদের যে রোজগার দরকার আছে সেগুলোকে Of, the, of course, they do the one thing they've always done. They provide the technical environment for the Wikimedia soft, uh, communities to grow. There's the servers, there's the software. They have a good security team. At the moment, there were some attacks by someone who tried to steal accounts of administrators, oversiders, check users. And the security team reacted very, very quickly to close the gap in the software that made this possible. And they are also creating something called the anti-harassment tools. I can show this page later. Oh, I can show it now. Um, 
that's also something very interesting. Those links that I'm showing now, if you can um, perhaps copy them to your laptops, because that's very um, helpful things if you want to look up things later. The anti-harassment tools, they are trying to improve the administrative tools so that it's easier and not as draining and stressful for administrators to block randoms, or that it's more fair that you don't have to block somebody completely, but that you can do a partial block. If there's a conflict on one part of Wikipedia about a certain kind of articles, perhaps this person can still do good edits in another content part, another subject area. So they are thinking about what tools can be better to help solve conflict and they're creating this kind of software. That's what the foundation does. Also, the foundation that's traditionally it provides funds for programs and activities because we believe a healthy community can only grow if they can do things together. We have common aspirations. We have common needs. So we want to do things together. We want to do heritage walks, photo walks. We want to do an education program, perhaps. We want to go to a museum and have a grand corporation. And this needs money. So the foundation generally provides funds, the grants, everybody. I think that's very, very important. Everybody can apply for a grant, not just the user group, not somebody who has some already established ties. If you have any idea what would be a good thing to do on Wikipedia, and you want to do it alone, with two people, with three people, with five people, with a hundred people, you can apply for money. And it's not important how many people sign your application for a grant. Important is that the people at the foundation can see that this has value, and that there will be content created, or the community health will be promoted by this program. So the grants is a very, very important part that everybody should look in better. If you don't know the page I'm opening now, this is a link you should really copy to your own device and read carefully. And if you have problems with this, come back to me later Yes, put it in the other practice link, that would be awesome. Um, and I can help you to how to write a good grant. যে ওনারা টেকনিক্যাল এনवायरमेंटের ক্ষেত্রে কিছু জিনিস করে রেখেছেন আমরা জানি আগে কি হতো অনেক সময় কেউ কারোর মতো আমার সুবেন্দুর উপর রাগ হয়েছে আমি একটা ব্লক করে দিলাম ওকে ঠিক আছে আমার পার্সোনাল ডিপুতে তো অ্যান্টি হ্যারাসমেন্ট টুলস দিয়ে একটা গ্যাজেট রয়েছে যেটা দিয়ে বোঝা যায় যে কেউ ব্যক্তিগতভাবে করছে কিনা মানে সত্যি দরকার আছে কিনা ব্লক করার আর নাকি করে দেওয়া হয়েছে সেরকমই ওদের নিজের কাছে সার্ভার সফটওয়্যার সব কিছু মানে এখন একদম আধুনিক পদ্ধতিতে রয়েছে সেগুলো দিয়ে বোঝা যায় যে সেটা দরকার আছে কি না এবং ব্লকের ক্ষেত্রেও ওনারা আলাদা আলাদা তফাত করেছেন হতে পারে একজন একটা বিষয় ঠিক করে করতে পারছি না সেখানে তাকে ব্লক করা দরকার আগে কি হতো ব্লক মানে সমস্ত রকম প্রজেক্ট থেকে ব্লক করে দেয় এটা হচ্ছে পার্সিয়াল ব্লক ঠিক আছে অন্য জায়গায় ঠিক করে করতে পারছেন ওকে ওই জায়গাটা ব্লক করতো কিন্তু অন্য জায়গায় তার নিজের অনেক ইন্টারেস্ট আছে সেখানটা তার খোলা থাকবে মানে একটা মডারেট ফর্ম করা হয়েছে যাতে তাকে তারপরেও স্কোপ দেওয়া যায় এবং সবথেকে জরুরি জিনিস উনি যেটা বলছেন আমরা নর্মালি আমরাও সবাই জানতাম যে একটা করে কি দুটো করে কোনো ইউজার গ্রুপ রয়েছে তারা যা অ্যাপ্লাই করবে তার আন্ডারে যা পয়সা আসলো তার থেকে আমাদের নিয়ে যেটুকু কাজ করতে পারলাম সেইটুকু নিয়ে আমরা কোনো ফান্ডিংয়ের এক্ষেত্রে কাজ করতে পারি ওনারা বলছেন না কমিউনিটি হেলথের জন্য যে কোনো মানুষ তার হতে পারে আগে কোনো ফান্ডিং নেওয়ার অভিজ্ঞতা নেই সে হয়তো ভালো করে মানে ফান্ডিংটা লিখতেও পাচ্ছে না উনি বলছেন যে ফান্ডিং যখন লিখতে গিয়ে অসুবিধা হলে আমাকে হেল্প দেওয়া বা যারা এক্সপার্ট আছে তাদের থেকে সেই লেখার ব্যাপারেও হেল্প করবেন এবং জরুরি নয় যে প্রত্যেকটা লোক নিয়ে করতে হবে কিন্তু একটাই জিনিসে ফোকাস করতে হবে সেটা হচ্ছে যে আমার যে কাজটা হচ্ছে সেই কাজটায় কমিউনিটি হেলথের ওপর কিভাবে তার ইম্প্যাক্ট হচ্ছে জরুরি নয় যে কোনো একটা বড় কিছুর মধ্যে দিয়ে হায়ার আর্কির মধ্যে দিয়ে যাওয়ার দরকার নেই আমি এসেছি আমি এখানে অনেকদিন ধরে বেশ কিছুদিন ধরে কাজ করছি আমার মনে হচ্ছে যে আমি একটা প্রত্যন্ত গ্রামে থাকি সেখানে আমি কিছু জনেদের নিয়ে কমিউনিটি হেলথের উপর কাজ করতে চাই 
আমাকে কোনো ইউজার গ্রুপ বা কোনো হায়ারকে থ্রুতে যেতে হবে না অনেক এক্সপিরিয়েন্সে হেল্প নিতে হবে না আমি সিধে সিধে ফাউন্ডেশনকে অ্যাপ্লাই করতে পারি সেই ফান্ডসগুলো কি কি আছে উনি একটা লিংক দিয়েছেন যেটা ইতার পার্টি দিয়ে দেওয়া হয়েছে এবং ইতার পার্টি লিংক আমি সবাইকে পাঠিয়ে সুবেন্দুর বোধায় দেওয়া হয়নি আমি পাঠিয়ে দিচ্ছি সবাইকে দেখে নেবে এবং যখন লিখতে গিয়ে অসুবিধা হবে আমাদের অনেক সময় হয়তো আমরা পিছিয়ে যাই যে আমরা ইংরেজিটা ভালো করে লিখতে পারছি না বলতে পারছি না সেটা কোনো সমস্যা না The foundation does not only give funds, but it also sometimes helps to organize social events. And it helps also with cooperation. Of course, it cannot do this on the level of something like this. This has to be organized by the locals. But if there is a big meeting, the big meeting, India meetup, if there is a global meetup, at the moment there is a meetup for everybody who wants next week, who wants to participate in land cooperation, so cooperation with libraries, archives, museums. These big meetings, the foundation also helps to find the location, to uh, have rules. It does more than just give the money. Because it knows this is important. Also, if you want to start a cooperation with a university, for example, It is sometimes very helpful if the Wikimedia Foundation writes a letter because the Wikimedia Foundation is well respected by a lot of universities, museums and so on. So if you want to start a cooperation, you can also get support from the Wikimedia Foundation in that way. What it also does is gives basic guidelines of how we should behave. There's the terms of use. I can copy these eight links if you may ever pay later, I think that's the best idea. And we don't have to like The terms of use that say that you can everything has to be published under a free license, for example. Um, that you can reuse everything that's on the TV. That you have to be responsible for what you put up. That you have to be civil and friendly. That you can't put anything unlawful. That's the very basic guidelines that I give you in the terms of use. That you don't do anything by no one wrong by writing the Wikipedia article. A more detailed guidelines are the, friend, is the friendly space policy. The friendly space policy means that whenever we meet in person, but it's also true for um, the online cooperation. We should not harass anybody. We should not put anybody under pressure. There should be no offensive verbal comments. There should be no deliberate intimidation. That we should not show any sexual images just like this. Sometimes we need to do it in an educational context, but people should know about this. That this happens, for example, in a biolo biological context, a medical context. People should know about it before, and it should be only done in this context. And also, this kind of demand from the event. The person can get a warning for that stories, but the action will be taken as part of the friendly space policy. So, this is also something that the foundation provides. You can look this up by the put it in the other code, as I said, but you can also change these your own needs better. You never can do less than the transport. You never can do less than the practice space policy. But you can add to it and you can change it to your, for your own needs. For example, there was not so long ago the Wiki Graphics Boot Camp. I don't know if any one of you has heard about this. I know Shamita. So they made their own friendly space policy that added something उन्नी <laughs> सार्विक स्तरे रही है तो क्षेत्र 
একটা জার্মানিতে যেটা হচ্ছে আমার এখানে যেটা হচ্ছে দুজনে পারিপার্শ্বিক অবস্থা এবং পরিবেশগতভাবে আলাদা হতে পারে তো এর বেসিক জায়গাটা একই থাকবে কিন্তু আমি প্রয়োজন মতো যে অনুষ্ঠানটা করতে চলেছি সেখানে কিছু যুক্ত করতে পারি বা এটাকে মডিফাই করতে পারি যেমন রিসেন্টলি উইকি টাকে শুরু টাইম যেটা দিল্লিতে হয়েছিল যেখানে গ্রাফিক্স বিষয় মানে যেমন মানচিত্রটাকে নিজে নিজে ভাষায় ট্রান্সলেট করা বা কি করে আমরা ওপেন সোর্সে পাওয়া যে সফটওয়্যার আছে তাতে কি করে ড্রয়িংগুলো বানিয়ে নিতে পারি যেগুলো কপি রাইটে মানে যেরকম কার ছবি নেই হয়তো কোনো নোটেবল লোকের সেখানে সেটা স্কেচ করে একটা ভদ্র সুপ্র মানে ঠিকঠাক বানাতে পারি সেরকম ধরনের জিনিসপত্র ব্যানার বানাতে পারি হলো এগুলো সেখানে হয়েছিল তো সেখানে নিজের মতন করে আবার এটাকে মডিফাই করে নেওয়া হয়েছিল তারাও আগে উনি আগে যে থার্ড পয়েন্টটা বলেছিলেন যে উইকিপিডিয়া ফাউন্ডেশন এরকম উইকিপিডিয়া অর্গানাইজ করতে পারবে না সেটা লোকাল লেভেলে আনুষ্ঠানিকভাবে আমাদের করতে হবে কিন্তু যখন কোনো আন্তর্জাতিক স্তরে কিছু একটা প্রোগ্রাম হচ্ছে অথবা কোনো ইউনিভার্সিটি বা স্কুলের সঙ্গে কিছু প্রোগ্রাম হচ্ছে সেক্ষেত্রে ফাউন্ডেশান মানে শুধু টাকা নয় আরও কিছু অন্যরকম হেল্প দিতে পারে এবং সেক্ষেত্রে আমরা সিধে সিধে ফাউন্ডেশনের সাথে যুক্ত হতে পারি যে আমরা কোনো বিশ্ববিদ্যালয় যারা ছাত্র রয়েছেন এবং সেই ক্ষেত্রে উনি মেনশেন করছেন যে ফ্রেন্ডিং স্পেস পলিসিতে করে আমরা অনেক সময় সিনিয়রদের মতো শুনেছি আমাদের এখানে কিছু হয় না আমাদের এটা দরকার নেই না আজকে কিছু হয় না কিন্তু কালকে যদি আমি একটা স্কুলে যাই একটা ইউনিভার্সিটিতে যাই সেখানে টিনেজাররা রয়েছে তো সেখানে তাদের সঙ্গে প্রত্যেকে প্রত্যেকের সাথে কীরকম ব্যবহার করবে তার জন্য এই ধরনের গাইডলাইনগুলো খুব খুব আবশ্যিক এবং আমরা চাইবো এগুলো বাংলাতে
answer. You will not get the wrong answer. Usually the answer is something like, thank you so very much for alerting on us, we will take a closer look. Thank you for telling us about the problem, we will deal with it.
sometimes the person will edit as soon as he's out of the country because people can travel. Sometimes people will take contact with someone else and say, please um, update this. So I think there is still some configurations from Turkey, but we are not sure. We don't know because we don't track who contributes and we can't track if somebody is editing from Germany but he's actually a Turkish editor, that's something we don't track in our country. But we are trying to find out more of these things. That's really something that interests us, because we do believe in some languages, a lot of people edit that are not living in their own country, where they grew up, whether it's their mother tongue, or perhaps their parents grew up. And we are thinking that's also important for community health, because in one language, like in English, people contribute from all over. For German language, and I think also for Bangla language, it's mostly people from two or three countries. In Germany, it's Austria, Switzerland, Germany. For the Bangla Wikipedia, of course, it's India and Bangladesh. And there's even countries where there's almost nobody editing except from one country. So this is also interesting because it means there's another way of connecting.
जाते ये मुस्तो के नीचे में स्वाभाविक नहीं है तब संपूर्ण चेष्टा दे भले भावे काज को के बारे तेरे जो ना फाउंडेशन इतना कम्युनिटी हेल्थ की पाने आ चाहिए अच्छे कि एक नो माने उन्होंने पौधे जो अच्छे तेरे जो ना उन्हें चाहिए चाहिए समस्त लोगों में भाषा आते के स्वाभाविक की कोड़े उसे आरु इंपोर्ट क हमरा आलोचना पाता है ये, शेखने ऑफिस ड्रोन को तैयारी, आगे प्रथम हमें पाता का देखने को, हमारे मोटों को दो बार से स्टार्ट करो, तार पड़े जो थे हमारे किचु धारणा था के, शेखी हमरा आलोचना पाता, तुम जिसे जितना डिस्टेंस होते जो है, शेखने के ऑफिस ड्रोन। तो Administrators usually are the people who help keep the community healthy. They resolve a lot of the problems. If they don't resolve it, they help the people resolve it. They keep away the really bad practices. They block people. They protect articles if there's an epidemic. So we think they are very key people. And if you understand better, for example, what does it mean? How many admins per community? per active editor are there, and we found there are huge differences. Russia has a very high level of administrators in comparison to some other We want to learn also how many pages get to do How happy are administrators? Or how happy are the people who are administrators? All those things we are trying to learn and we're thinking of ways to handle them. We're also taking some of the very general statistics. For example, how long do contributors stay active after they start? We know, for example, the Czech people here were very poor the Czech. I don't remember exactly, perhaps it's another, but in one week we figure they do a great university program or school program. Everybody basically edits the Wikipedia at some time, but they usually only do it for half a year while they're in the program. So they have a lot of short-term editors. And that's very, very different from other Wikipedia where sometimes people stay on for, there are not as many people editing, but they stay on a lot longer. So such things are also important to understand. Um, there's also just the number of active users, the number of articles right now, all those things that are important. Those are the things that are easiest to write, right? Because we have it in the data. We will see this question for this issue with Karate. I think it's already correct in that. She doesn't want to do anything. उन्हें बोलते हैं कि अमना को तो भी कॉम्पटीशन पर ची एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर के रूप में कारों एडमिनिस्ट्रेट अमना लागू लोगों का किसी लोगों का भी ब्लॉक को तो पावर होती है जिन्हें एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ताना तो पावर आती है तो शेयर के लिए उन लोगों का दादे साइकोलॉजी का देखा चेस्टा माप गुलो दिए माप दोन बोल रही जो भी देखा जाए तो अभी मात्र शायद माने कारे साइकोलॉजी बोलते जाते कम्युनिटी लेक्चर के नेचर पर आ जाएंगे तार पड़े उन्हें बोलते हैं जो किचु किचु जगह आ चाहे जो एक्टिव यूजर इतने के स्कूल प्रोग्राम कॉलेज प्रोग्राम वाली चले तारा एक ता वस्तुने डिशेस Thank you. 
so we want to look deeper into that. And we also want to understand personal experiences, what's the stress level that we should be exploring Are people real? I read about one editor who said it in a chat that he edited Wikipedia until he fainted because he was doing a contest and he wanted to win. And so he just kept on editing. That is not healthy. And he wants to learn and understand such things.
এবং অন্যরা কিভাবে আলোচনা করছে দেখে তারপরে দেখি সেখানে আলোচনা করবে Isn't it very important to uh, keep the identity of the editor incognito while editing because it's endangering his, uh, it's revealing his identity to the government. It might be disadvantageous in some cases because there might be terrorists and other people editing the article or uh, thinking the other way around, it might also be very helpful because he would not come under unnecessary questions from the higher authorities. Yes, this is one of the basic things also that Wikipedia provides. You can use just any username. You don't have to sign up with your name. You even don't have to connect to an email. Or you can also just connect to an email that you use just for Wikipedia. I would always advise this. A lot of people don't, but I think this is really a wise move, even if there are other countries where you feel safe. For women, even more, sometimes people will not value that women do such things, and somebody who finds out this person is edited with the media might harass a woman just for that reason. So if you are anonymous, that is a layer of protection. The thing is that people often are not consequent. They don't follow through. I kept my Facebook account with not my normal name. I put up the Facebook account left at Selena just for this reason because before I joined the Wikimedia Foundation and worked there professionally, I had my real name not connected to my user. No worse. This is why Facebook shows me as like the Zolina and not Chris the Shiny. I highly advise this and I highly advise to keep things really separate. Of course, in real life meetings, things, we, we know each other, it gets connected. But I also know, for example, one person um, on the channel, if you get somebody is editing, he is really, he has a serious <coughs> mental problem. We know this by now. He is harassing one person, several persons, and this person has tried to lead a lawsuit against him because harassment is illegal, or at least what he's doing it. But it has been kind of stopped because he can't be that responsible because of his mental problem. So he's creating new pages in the internet with her real name, shaming her, all those kinds of things. So not using your real name. I don't think it's a good idea.
to take uh, addition to the JSS and manage through this if somebody was logged out and tried to log in to get the password. I don't understand it perfectly, but that's he really cracked into the Wikimedia software. He's a really technically talented person, and I know that our security team has closed this one special way you can do it. But they are afraid to find other ways to do it, and they are working to close as many of those gaps to find more and to close them. So that is the one thing. Mm -hmm. The other thing, I already answered it, I don't believe this. Um, generally, this is often the thing. I don't believe you are a harasser. I don't believe there are a lot of harassers. But just in society, things are under. Women are not treated fairly. And everywhere, this might not be very great to harass. I know, for example, of a woman, a woman and she feels uncomfortable complaining. But there's a man always sitting very close to her. He will not really touch her in the She will not feel free to speak up because always this man will sit beside her. And she wants to say something and he will explain, oh, I already know what you want to say and say, this is kind of person. And I'm sure something like this happens. And sometimes it's very difficult to explain this to a man no, I don't believe harassment is happening. Then it's really, really difficult to tell those subtle things. I will not uh, and, uh, translate this, uh, um, this program. I want to tell him what is the definition of harassment. Then I will say something. No, no, stereotype of things is different. No, men, women can also harass men. Just don't say the gender thing. But sometimes, two women, two men are talking, they can use slang languages and they are both of them are comfortable. They did not think that in community, the person is female and she is not at all comfortable in that slang language. Mind it. That is also indirect as is not punishing directly to her. But we are not comfortable. Now I am telling you openly because I now I get support. Then one thing. Second thing is somebody is telling me uh, like lightheadedly but indirectly abusing me. I am not uh, contesting him or her because I don't want to take it for a long time because my motto is to carry with the idea. That is the main thing. But that is not the thing I am not taking. You don't take it for me. Just, just, just I am I... taking it generally. Okay. Sometimes we no, don't feel that this language is not good at all for all. No, sometimes though, we cannot you know, speak about the children. We have to be very specific. So, have you ever crossed such a situation in your life while editing Wikipedia or on the Wikipedia community uh, the, uh, in Bengali Wikipedia? Just please guess me. Just give me an instance and... Uh, uh, I will not tell person's name, but I will tell small example. Like while editing, when we were, uh, I have started, that uh, also you are doing things. I don't have Ubuntu based. Uh, laptop and things. People say hey, you don't have time, you don't have foster internet connection since they know to push your so much. Just leave it or something like that. Don't quote my line, but something like that. But I took it as a challenge and I have completed one week of total assay. That was my answer. And second thing, when I got Tiger Project uh, uh, prizes, they also in coming uh, social media. Somebody of knowing that something says somebody. So I felt uh, uh, deserted and I told the series, I will not uh, take this prize. Then it is so bad. That scope of things also affected our life. The same thing happens applicable to the warehouse. Yes, sir. So it is a power difference. I will tell you an example from my experience. I'm an administrator on the journal. And there was somebody who was very impolite. 
and they did not like the way he used language. It was really important language. So, one other administrator reported him for using this inappropriate language. I don't remember if it was me talking or another female administrator. And then he said, once the appeal was brought, either I or the other administrator said, no, the state law can use the inappropriate language. So he was saying, this is a small tea-drinking group of women who want me out of the community. So again, he reported and he said, the state has just a small tea-drinking group, and that's a, that's a, a phrase that in German it implies just women talking and chatting with each other. So again, he reported him and said, he should not say this about us. And this was close to route action by a man who said, this is not insulting. But he felt deeply insulted, right? We did a really reasonable thing. We said, this is inappropriate language. And to call him, for him to call us just chatting women over tea, um, that was an insult. But the man who read the report said, no, this is not an insult. The women should not make such a decision. Next time, another woman reading this will not report something like this as an insult because she knows a man will not, the man will close this without reaction. This is the way harassment works. But I think we, we, we should discuss, continue the discussion after lunch. Thanks so much again.